That was... Interesting. Finally. What's this? Hodier's notes. Before my fellow students of the Thum were called by the way of the voice, many were adepts at the five schools of magic trained from initiation to draw the wards along the sides of their diagrams and seek patterns where there were none. Which makes no sense to me, but okay. Others were priests of kine, learning the teachings of the mountains, or hunters and soldiers who took the Thum as their bow and shield, a tool crafted to their talents. The Thum, however, is a language, and like any language, its words have many meanings. Most phrases in Dova are devoid of deeper significance. Words full of power but leading nowhere. Thus, the long history of the tongues has been a journey of exploration and discovery of the holy phrases that resonate with the earth and sky, and with the supreme being of Kine. My time under Kine's sky is nearing its end. Nal Suyek Dushur. I don't know if that's how you say that, but okay. This tome represents the fruits of many years of meditation and contemplation. Twenty-eight shouts of power. Twenty-eight? Shouts of power. A life's work left unfinished. I leave these shouts to all who, who possess the wisdom to understand them. They are mighty indeed. Use them wisely. Lok Thum. I don't know what that means. But I guess I'm learning. Ho what was his name? Hodier Thunderfang. What a name. Alessia's love. Oh boy. Annihilate. Oh boy. Arcane Helix. Armageddon. Oh. Curse. That's interesting. Dance of the Dead. Oh, no. Earthquake. S Essence Rip. Evocation. What does that do? Uh, okay. Geomagnetism. Uh, Iceborn. Okay, that's what that letter is. I'm not terribly familiar with Nordic illuminated script, but I do know what it is, so... Interesting. Jones Shadow. Ugh. Kingsbane. Oh, jeez. Lifestream. Lightning shield. That seems useful. Oblivion. Ooh. Riftwalk. Does that mean you can... Okay... Shattersphere. Shore's Wrath. Shroud of Snowfall. What did this guy need all of these shouts for? Speak unto the stars. Okay. Splinter Twins. Stormblast. <laughs> the Conqueror. True Shot. A gift from Kine herself. The True Shot shout empowers arrows with divine energy from the heavens. That's actually kind of useful. Whale of the Banshee. Wanderlust. Warcry. That's... That's a lot. That is a lot of words. Okay. I've been here for what, three days now? I should probably get some rest, get some food. I don't know. Ah! Still have a hard boiled egg.
That's nice. <sighs> it's very nice being up here where there's not really anyone to bother me. But at the same time, I know that... I don't know, I'm supposed to be the Dragonborn, right? I'm supposed to be Thane of Whiterun. I should probably go back into Whiterun and see if anything needs tending to. I don't really know what to do. It's the first time I've actually managed to learn something from meditating here. And I really want to try again now that I seem to be getting the hang of it. No visions this time? Okay. I wonder who that was. That I saw crying. Not entirely sure. Don't know what the place was either. Hmm. It continues to make me the slightest. They were excavating something else back there. Don't know what. It makes me the slightest bit creepy that I'm remembering things that I really shouldn't be remembering. Oh well. Like, for instance, when the Greybeards spoke to me a few days ago, and I had visions of another Ismir. I'm not entirely sure what this all means. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm going to be learning anything else staying here, but... I mean... I'm not sure what else I need to do. I'm pretty sure I haven't given Delphine enough time to do whatever it is she's gonna try to do. Oh, what's this? I never noticed that. Huh. Interesting. But I kind of feel like wearing an amulet of Talos around these days is a great way to get myself in trouble with the wrong people. Namely the Thalmor. What time is it, anyway? Nearly bedtime. I suppose I can sleep whenever I want, really, but... What's this? The Five Songs of King Wolfbarth? The first song of King Wolfharth, Wolfharth is ancient. Circa First Era 500. After the defeat of the Alessian army at Glenumbramores, where King Hogue Murkiller was slain, Wolf Hearth of Atmora was elected by the pack of chieftains. His tomb was so powerful he could not verbally swear into the office, and scribes were used to draw up his oaths. Immediately thereafter he wrote down the first new law of his reign, a fiery re reinstatement of the traditional Nordic pantheon. Hmm. The edicts were outlawed, the priests put to the stake, and their halls set ablaze. 
The shadow of King Borgus had ended for a span. For his zealotry, King Wolfharth was called Shore's Tongue, and Ismir, Dragon of the North. Well, that's a name to be carrying, isn't it? The second son of King Wolfharth glorifies his deeds in the eyes of the old gods. He fights the eastern orcs and shouts their chief into hell. When was this written? Huh. The Ash King, the fourth song of King Wolfharth, tells of his rebirth. The dwarves and devils of the eastern kingdoms had started to fight again. And the Nords hoped they might reclaim their ancient holdings there because of it. They planned an attack, but then gave up, knowing that they had no strong king to lead them. Then in walked the Devil of Dagoth, who swore he came in peace. The Devil of Dagoth? Moreover, he told the Nords a wondrous thing. He knew where the Heart of Shore was. Okay. Long ago, the Chief of the Gods had been killed by elven giants and the ripped out Shore's heart and used it as a standard to strike fear into the Nords. This worked until Iskramor shouted some sense. Shouted some sense, and the Nords fought back again. Knowing that they were going to lose eventually, the elven giants hit the heart of Shore so that the Nords might never have their god back. But here was the Devil of Dagoth with good news, dwarves and devils of blah blah blah. <sighs> this is, uh. Hmm. The tongue sung Shore's ghost into the world again. They what? Shore gathered an army and as he did of old. Shore gathered an army as he did of old and then sucked in the long strewn ashes of King Wolfharth and remade him. But he needed a for he needed a good general. But the Devil of Dagoth petitioned to be that general too, and he pointed out his role as the blessed harbinger of the Holy War. So Shore had two generals, the Ash King and the Devil of Dagoth, and he marched on the Eastern Kingdoms with all the sons of Skyrim. Right then, Red Mountain, the fifth song of King Wolfharth is sad. The, the survivors of the disaster came back under a red sky. That year, to s that year is called Sun's Death. For somebody who is supposed to be able to use the voice, I'm really bad at reading things, aren't I? Who am I even talking to? Oh well. Old habits die hard. The Devil of Dagoth had tricked the Nords. For the heart of Shore was not in the Eastern Kingdoms, and had never been there at all. Well, yeah. Didn't Shore s- I don't know if I believe in any of that. I- I feel like Shore's heart should be a metaphor, shouldn't it? That's how most of the old stories work. That's how all the stories about, like, uh, Tall Papa and Tuwaka and all that, that's how those work. Right? Uh, where was I? As soon as Shore's army- I- yeah, as soon as Shore's army had got to Red Mountain, okay, all the devils and dwarves fell upon them. Their sorcerers lifted the mountain and threw it onto Shore, trapping him underneath Red Mountain until the end of time. Okay. They slaughtered the sons of Skyrim, but not before King Wolfharth killed King to Dumalikath the dwarf orc and doomed his people. Then Vec the devil blessed the- Vec? You mean like Vivec? I don't know much history, but I- Okay, no. I don't- <sighs> Dunmer. I don't understand them. Then Vec the devil blasted the Ash King into hell and it was all over. Later, Kine lifted the ashes of the ashes of Ismir into the sky, saving him from hell and showing her sons the color of blood when it is Brought by betrayal, and the Nords will never- See? It's a metaphor for how s or it's a story about how sunsets came to be, and I don't think that's actually how the- Hmm? The heart of Shore was in Redstain, as Dagoth Ur had promised. This is written by someone else, isn't it? As Shore's army approached the westernmost bank of the Inner Sea, they stared across the Red Mount- They stared across at Red Mountain where the Dwemeri armies had gathered. News from the scouts reported that the Chimeri forces... Chimeri? Chimeri? I'm inclined to pronounce it as Chimeri. Forces had just left Narsus, 
and they were taking their time joining their cousins against the Nords. Dagoth Ur said that the tribunal had betrayed their king's trust and that they sent Dagoth Ur to Lorcan, for that's what they called Shore in Resdane. Resdane? Resdane? I don't speak their tongue. Whatever. So that the god might wreak vengeance on the Doras for their hubris. That Nerevar's peace with the Dwemer would be the ruin of the Velothi Way. This was the reason for the slow muster, Dagoth Ur said. And Lorcan, for that is what they called Shore in Risdane, said, I do not wreak vengeance on the doors for the reasons that the tribunal might believe I do. Nevertheless, it's true that they will die by my hand, and any whoever shall should side with them. This Nerevar is the son of Boethia, one of the strongest Padamaics. I have no idea what that means. He is a hero to his people, despite the tribunal, and he shall muster enough that this battle will be harder go- Okay. Uh, Ash King Ismir- Ash King Wolfharth Hori Ismir. That's just all his names. I'm reading about this because it's another Ismir, and I feel like I should know the history of that name. Went and made peace with the orcs in spite of his Nordic, Nordic blood, and they brought many warriors, but no wizards at all. Well, yeah, orcs don't really wizard. Don't you see where you really are? Don't you know who Shore really is? And don't you know what this war is? And they looked from king to the god to the devils and orcs, and some knew, really knew, and they are the ones that stayed. You're not telling me Wolfharth was Shore, are you? Because that just seems... Hmm... Hard to believe? And it was cut out and Lorcan was defeated and the whole ordeal was thought over. Okay. Well, that was... long and not terribly interesting. Ah, <sighs> well... I'm gonna get some sleep now. Here's to hoping I'm a gentler Ismir than Wolfhard was. You know?